Well, I think it's very important to realize that these uh, treatment decisions depend very much on, as I've said, patient's age, patient's fitness, and what sort of disease. And we're increasingly recognizing that acute myeloid leukemia is not a single disease, it's a whole range of diseases. And there are different sorts requiring different treatment. So I think it's quite difficult um, to say, therefore, that there's one package fits all. But in younger people, you are conven conventionally thinking about intensive chemotherapy, uh, two, three, or four cycles. And in people under 65 or 70 who are fit, the other decision would be whether a bone marrow or stem cell transplant is required. That's increasingly used as an important way of maximizing the anti-leukemic potential of chemotherapy. Uh, if you're having intensive chemotherapy, those are usually in patient stays, although the second and third and fourth course can sometimes be uh, split between inpatient stay and outpatient. Uh, a transplant itself well, depends on finding a donor, and that is, is a, it's an important and curative approach, but it, it's quite a complex procedure, and that would need to be separately discussed with patients, but that, of course, would involve another month in hospital and then two or three months recovering.